New findings show the flu shot is linked to a lower risk of cardiovascular events, including heart attack or stroke. ABC News medical contributor Dr. Darian Sutton joins us to break it down. Good morning again. So morning. this study is really interesting. What exactly does it tell us about this? So this study looks to clarify what is the exact benefit of flu vaccines beyond that of protecting against infection and hospitalization. And they basically wanted to know, is there an association to flu vaccines and a decreased risk of major adverse cardiovascular events like heart attacks and strokes. And why is this study significant? So it's significant for two things, its size and the risk reduction that was found. Um, it found that there was a significant risk reduction, approximately 34% in things like angina or chest pain, heart attacks, heart failure, stroke, and death secondary to these complications. And it was quite a large study. It's a meta-analysis, more than 9,000 participants over 20 years. So it's really helpful to know this information, especially when having a discussion with patients who are higher risk. Does it explain at all how this is, why this is? Great question. So it looks at the association, but does not really understand the causation. There are likely many reasons why these two things might be associated. One meaning a direct relationship, the flu can cause these outcomes, or indirect, maybe those who get the flu vaccine have different lifestyle changes compared to those who did not get the flu vaccine. So it's April right now, not exactly flu season. Mm -hmm. If you didn't get a flu shot, should you get a flu shot now or should you just wait till we get to flu season? That is another great question. I think it's completely reasonable, especially if you're higher risk. Typically, the flu season peaks in February and trails off around May. But I have to say that recently I've been seeing a couple of cases and we've been seeing them around the U.S., these strange outbreaks of flu. And I think that it's really imperative that patients know, especially those who are higher risk, it's probably OK and helpful for you to get that vaccine to be protective. Conversations you should definitely have with your doctor. Dr. Absolutely. Darian Sutton, we always love having you. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.